Hello guys, TX Sabres here and welcome to Madden 24. Today's video is going to be different. We're not doing a gameplay. We're not doing anything like that. I just wanted to go over how to level up efficiently in season one of Madden Ultimate Team. As you can see, I'm level 17, almost level 18. I just got to complete some more missions today and I'll be easily at level 18. But you must be wondering, hey, how are you such a high level? The game came out a little bit over a week ago and the full release was on Friday. How exactly are you this level so fast? Well, I'm glad you asked. The first thing I recommend you do in the seasons pass, you want to go to your daily and every day at 10 30 a.m which is when i'm recording this video these reset and as you can see these have reset now i have to get 200 passing yards 350 passing yards and 30 completions and i will get a total of 6,000 xp and 3,000 coins but the reason why you want to do your dailies every day is because if you come over to the stats and go to daily tracker all the way on the right here if you complete dailies for two days in a row you get 15,000 xp for five days you get 20,000 so when i get Today's daily's done. I'm going to get an extra 20,000 XP for my season pass, which is so much better than years past. So my, the, the first tip in order to get easy levels is to do your dailies every day. Another thing that's really simple that you guys should be doing is when you log into Madden, on top of doing the dailies, the first thing you should do is check if there's any new solo challenges. Now, beginning of the year this year, there seems to not be a lot of content, but you want to make sure you do all of your headliners solo challenges and all your legend solo challenges. These give you stats for your missions this gives you headliner xp for the headliner season pass and also legends you there, there, there there's a legends field pass and this will give you a whole level if you just do all the challenges so challenges are your best friend in order to level up we're going to hop back into the field pass and i'm going to show you step two on what the best way to get optimal levels is and that's with the stats if you look over here i have 238 touchdowns out of 700 total that i need and if you really want to optimize this you could just go into solo challenges and just throw one play touchdowns against the computer and replay it over and over and over again until you complete these. And like you see, when I hit 400 touchdowns, I'll get an extra 3000 XP. I get a total 10,000 for completing all 700 touchdowns. Score 5,000 points in any mode, same thing. All this stuff comes naturally over time if you're not trying to grind it quick. But like I'm saying, you can go into solo challenges and just throw touchdown, one play touchdowns over and over and over again. And you'll get these stats relatively quicker than everybody else if you just put the work in. If you're gonna be grinding for passing yards, you wanna go to Robinson's Ready to Rise in the headliner solo challenges and go to Ready for Anything. All you have to do is put it on easy. It says the requirement is score passing touchdown this drive. Don't worry about your bonus stars. You're at the 25 yard line, just throw a streak up and it's super easy to get your 75 yards passing in one throw and then you just replay the challenge over and over and over again until you get your 20,000 passing yards. And then for rushing yards, you wanna to go to the Javante Williams string and do the down but not out, play it on one star, score a rushing touchdown this drive. It's very simple. You'll just hop into the game, rush for a touchdown here. On rookie, it's super easy. Actually, they let you use Javante Williams in this solo. And look at that, I'm already gone to the races. That's gonna be 75 rushing yards that go straight to my stats. And I could replay this over and over and over again. That took maybe five seconds. Once you've completed your daily missions for a couple days, you do your solo challenges and then you start to look at your season pass and optimize completing missions in there you should have a good enough team to work on the competitive pass competitive pass is a very good way to earn season xp along with also additional rewards like packs and other such things that help make your grind easier. For instance, in this, you'll get a whole bunch of packs. Like at level 17, I get 50,000 season XP on top of getting red zone packs, midfield packs, headliners, BNDs. Like you just get so much, you know, coins and cards that you could use to your team, upgrade your team with if you just grind it out. And the best way, in my opinion, if you're new to the game, is this year they took out the difficulty requirement for solo battles. In, in, in years past, we would have to complete solo battle games on all star or higher difficulty, but now there's no difficulty challenges. So all you have to do is play on rookie, which is just like those solo challenges I was telling you to do. It's super easy. One play touchdowns. You should be scoring a hundred plus points a game against the computer in solo battles. And you have a week to do all of these missions. As you can see, I sat there grinded. I think I finished them in seven solo battle games. All you have to do is just come into your competitive pass, look at your at the solo battle missions and just grind 
grind them out. Put on some music, watch a TDX Saber video, go to my stream, something, just to buy time while you're grinding the game, and you'll, you, you will see that you will earn some really good rewards and really good leveling up. And on top of that, you can work on your mutt champs. Like I haven't really grinded too much mutt champs, but like you can see, you could just go in here, grind, you gotta rush for 500 yards. Do be careful though. If you look over right where it says record 125 team tackles, it says it only tracks during wins. So you have to make sure that, for instance, if I go into a game and I get five tackles and then I lose, it won't update this and I won't get my 12 XP for this. So you you got you want to make sure that you're looking and making sure that you are going to be winning the game. And if it isn't to win the mission challenge, just, just grind it out. And if it is a win the mission, then you have to sweat a little bit. And then also head to head seasons. So there's all different online game modes that you could be using to grind and get XP for the competitive pass, which in turn will level up your season pass. And of course there's milestones in here just like there was in the season pass. And this lasts the entire 51 days while all of the head to head, solo and mutt champs are all a weekly basis. And there is dailies also in the competitive pass. There is no tracker for doing multiple dailies in a row. So you just gotta do your dailies every day in here to get the, you know, this one will give me 12 competitive points for the competitive field pass. But like I was telling you guys, make sure you play your online games in an optimal way. If you're trying to get missions that are, you have to win for them to track, then make sure that you, if it's the fourth quarter and you're down two possessions and you just don't think there's a chance, get out of the game load up a new one there's no harm in quitting out of a game because you're trying to grind for stats you know what i mean just i hope this video was helpful if it was drop a like comment and subscribe comment down below what kind of content you want to see on madden 24 i mean i am i'm available to do anything really so just let me know in the comments below what y'all want to see i'll see you on the next video peace out